Hi again, everyone. Last time in my last video, I was talking about computer games. So here is someone playing a computer game. Um, they're using, there's their computer. They have a, a tower computer. There's the monitor. Um, he's holding a mouse just like me and he's got his headset on like me. So this guy is playing a computer game. So I was talking about computer games last time and I was talking about how um, when I was young, a long time ago, I liked computer games and my favorite computer game was SimCity 2000. So SimCity 2000 came out in 1993 and in 1994, when I was 12 years old, I bought a copy of SimCity 2000 and I paid about, or at least, I think more than $50 for the game. So about $50 or more. And now that was in 1994. That was about 25 years ago now. Um, when I was 12 years old, I'm, I'm 37 years old now, I decided to look up online. I typed in um, buy SimCity 2000 and I found that you can buy SimCity 2000 online and it cost only about six dollars. So I bought it online. Uh, this is the receipt and it says September 3rd. So I bought it on September 3rd and I paid only $5.99. So I paid only about $6 for uh, SimCity 2000 online. So I downloaded the game to my computer and uh, SimCity 2000 in that game, um, Sim is short for simulator or simulation. So in SimCity 2000, you are the mayor of a city. So your job is to lead and build a city. So SimCity 2000 is a city simulator, um, just like this is a flight simulator. So this is, not, this is not a real plane, but it is a simulation of what it is like to fly an airplane. So this is a flight simulator. It's not a real flight. It's not a real airplane, but it's a simulation. It's like a, it, it tries to be like um, flying a real plane. Um, so it simulates it. So just like SimCity 2000, this is not a real city, but it's, it's kind of like a city. It's a simulation of a city. So it's called SimCity 2000. In SimCity 2000, you are uh, leading and building a city. So you are the mayor of a city. Um, so last time I started building a city in SimCity 2000. So I'll open that up here. Oh, where is it? Let me type in SimCity, SimCity 2000. Okay, so last time I started building a city in SimCity 2000. So I'm going to load the city that I started building up again. So I'm going to load the city. First, I have to load the program, SimCity 2000. So I'll double click on it here with my mouse. And there, so I'll press number one, press one to start. Uh, there's the game. It's made by Maxis. Maxis was the company that made SimCity 2000. There's the title screen and you can hear the music there. And so I will go to load. Um, so my city, I called it uh, Chris Town. So I will load Chris Town. So my name is Chris. I called my city Chris Town after me. And there is the city. I'll just maximize this. So make, make it full screen here. And there, the city, it's paused right now, so nothing is moving. Everything's paused, um, but you can see there's traffic there. Uh, cars or other vehicles, um, they're paused right now, so it's not moving. And also here, there are different buildings. So there are different zones. So each zone has a different kind of building. Um, each zone. If we look at it there, you can just see the zones. So each zone has 
um, a different kind of building. So the green zones are residential zones. So in residential zones, you can only build houses or apartments or condominiums. So you can only build places where people live, where people sleep. So these are the residential zones. These green zones are the residential zones. They're for houses or apartments or condominiums. And then over here, uh, these kind of uh, gray zones are commercial zones. So in commercial zones, um, people can build uh, stores and offices. So commercial zones are for places where people work in offices, doing office work like typing, <laughs> um, and also for things like stores, places where people buy things. Uh, so stores and shopping centers and shopping malls and things like that. So these are the commercial zones. And then over here, um, then over here, these yellow zones are industrial zones. So industrial zones, um, industrial means where things are, are built or made or manufactured. So in industrial zones, you have many factories, uh, factories where products and things are made and um, different things like that. And the industrial zones, if I unpause it, you can see there's lots of smokestacks here. Um, there's lots of smoke, just like um, the power plant that makes electricity. This is a coal power plant, so it burns coal to make electricity, so it makes lots of smoke. So these factories and this power plant, they all make lots of smoke, which makes lots of pollution. So I want to keep the industrial zones far away from the residential zones. So. I want to keep them away from where people live because otherwise there will be lots of pollution, lots of smoke over here where people live and people will be sick, people will be coughing, <coughs> they'll be coughing like that on the smoke, on the pollution from, from all these factories. So I want to keep those factories away, far away from the houses and apartments and places where people live. So keep the industrial zones away from the residential zones. So I put the commercial zones here between the residential zones and the industrial zones to keep the residential zones and the industrial zones apart, to keep them separate, to keep them away from each other. So you can see, oh, you can see there's lots of traffic moving. Uh, there's these intersections have many vehicles, many cars, so there's lots of traffic now in the city. And oh, there's some churches here. Uh, there's two churches here, one over here and another church over there. Oh, there's a siren. Um, hmm, I wonder what's wrong. Oh, it says power plant needed. So there's not enough electricity right now. Um, let's take a look. Oh. These parts are flashing. These parts uh, don't have any electricity. It's like the lights are out. They don't have electricity. They don't have enough electricity. So I'm going to build another power plant so they have more electricity. So I'll go to power plants and I'll choose coal power. So build another coal power plant right beside the other one. So now they should have electricity. Okay, so now they have power. Um, before the power was, was out there, the, the lights were out in these buildings. Okay, so let's see, I wanna keep building my city. I want to keep building uh, the city, making it bigger. So I'm going to add some more zones here. So let's see, it says people want uh, more residential zones. So people want places where they, can, where they can live. People want places where they can build houses and build apartments or build condominiums. So I'll build some roads here. I'll build these roads on this hill, um, going over this hill here. Actually, I can even build a tunnel here. I'll build a tunnel here going, going, going through this hill. Oh, the tunnel's expensive. The tunnel costs $900. Anyway, I'll build it there. And there you can see the tunnel goes in here and it comes out here. 
and I'll add a road here to connect these roads here and then I will put uh, residential zones everywhere here. So I'll put lots of residential zones and add power lines and make sure these have electricity like that. Okay, so I'll unpause that and let's see. So what else do I need? I think, um, let's see. Oh, a lot of these buildings are abandoned now. So you can see these buildings, uh, they're, they're black, they're, they're dark. It looks like they're falling apart. Um, so no one's using these buildings. They're abandoned now. So these factories aren't being used. So we want, I want to get people uh, to move in there again. Um, so it looks like it's too far away. So people need to be um, close enough to easily get to work. Um, it can't take too long for them to drive to work. So people live here but they, they work over here. They work in the offices or stores over here and they work in these factories. But they have to drive from their homes over to where they work. So if it's very far, if, if where they work is very far from where they live, then it takes too long. They don't want to have to drive very far. So, and if there's lots of traffic, then there's, there'll be, people will be stuck in traffic. They'll be waiting a long time um, in traffic. So let's see, what can I do there to make it easier for them? Okay, one thing, one thing I can do for now is build zones closer together. So um, here I will add some more um, industrial zones but I'll put them a little bit closer together. So I'll build some industrial zones, but build them up here um, so that they're not too close to the residential zones. So I'll build some industrial zones up here like this. So, okay, so I'll build some industrial zones up here like this and see if that is any better. And I'll add power lines here, connect them together here. Oh, uh, a few people are moving in, but they still want uh, residential zones. It says people want residential zones. So let's see. I think I'll try to put some more residential zones here and see if people move in. And another thing I can do is uh, lower taxes. So I'll try lowering taxes a little bit. There. So I lowered taxes um, before they were 7%, but now I have lowered taxes to only 5%. So now people like that, they're cheering, yay, taxes are lower. Um, so I'll see if more people will come because taxes are lower. So let's see. Oh, now my city has about Oh, it's growing. Now it has 12,000 people. So now more people are moving to the city. Um, so they like that taxes are lower. So let's see, what else can I build here? Um, let's see, I can build a, oh, I can build a, the mayor's house here. So there's the mayor, um, just like that picture. He has, he has a hat on his head on this icon. So I will build the, close the newspaper there. I will build a mayor's house here. Have a little road going up to it and add some power lines. So there's the mayor's house. And let's see, um, let's add another road going to these industrial zones. And let's see, people still want more residential zones. So let's see, where, where can I build more residential zones? Um, maybe I will build some, let's see, maybe I will build some over here. Hmm. I don't want to build them close to the factories, but I think they want to be closer to the factories. So maybe I'll build a commercial zone 
commercial zone between the industrial zone and residential zone. And I'll add some power lines here and then add some roads here. So I'll see if those grow. Yeah, so these people uh, like to be closer to um, places where they might work. So closer to the factories and things like that. So I'll add some more industrial zone or residential zones here and add some more residential zones and then add some roads. Let's see. I'll put them like this. So at least it's far away, far enough away from the industrial zones. So I'll put those there, add some power lines and see if people move in. Uh, so people like that. Oh, and now, um, now they want some more commercial zones in the city. So I'll add some more commercial zones here. Uh, maybe over here, I'll add some commercial zones and here too. And add some power lines to those. And then um, what else? Let's see, I can build some other things here. Um, I can build city hall here. So here is uh, city hall. Where should I put, where should I put uh, city hall? Um, hmm, I could put city hall over here. There, there's city hall and it needs some electricity. So there's city hall. It looks kind of like uh, the Capitol building in the United States um, because it's a, it's a government building. So this, it looks, um, this is, for the, this is the building for the city government. Just like in the United States, uh, the Capitol building is for the um, United States government. So this building, this, this is city hall um, for the city government. And I'll add, I'll add some roads in front of it there. Just a road going in front of it. And let's see, what else can I build here? Um, oh, so people have started moving in there and let's see, people still want more uh, residential zones. So I will build some here. Oh, I can build, oh, there's a small bridge and I'll add some more residential zones here like this and maybe over here too. So more residential zones and connect them with roads. So we'll add some roads here. Um, just get rid of this extra road. And I will add more power lines, more power lines so that they have electricity and let those grow. And I'll add another road here. And I'll put some commercial zones here in this space between the industrial zones and residential zones. So I just have to give those power, add power lines. Oh, the newspaper said I could also have uh, buses so I'm going to add bus depots. That means uh, my city will have public transportation. It will have city buses. Um, so if I add city buses, um, that means there will be less traffic, uh, less traffic like this. Um, so you can see there's, there's lots of traffic here, lots of traffic. Um, this road is especially busy. It says 70 cars per minute. So many cars are traveling on these roads. Um, but if I add buses, if I add uh, bus depots, um, then people can take buses instead of having to drive their car. They can take the bus. So then um, there will be less traffic. So I'll add a bus depot here. And where else? Um, let's add a bus depot here. Oh, there's the horn sound. You can see some buses there. Uh, so that, that was the sound of a bus, like the horn of a bus. And I'll add a bus depot. Uh, let's, put, let's put one right here across from City Hall. 
So there's another bus depot. And we can look at these charts here. Oh, this chart shows that my city has 16,000 people. Just like on the map here, you can see my city has more than 16,000 people. And if I look at the traffic, uh, traffic is pretty high, but if I start now, the traffic should go down. Yeah, it's gone down a lot. It went from 28 to 11, so it's less than half of what it was before because I added buses, I added bus depots. So now my city has buses, it has public transportation. So now people don't have to drive so much. Instead, they can take the bus. Um, and I'll add one more, whoops, those are power plants. I'll add one more bus depot here and add, give it electricity. And then um, let's see if traffic goes down more. Yeah, so traffic is much less now. It's fallen. It's dropped by um, to less than a half to about one third of what it was before um, because now there are, there are buses. People can take the bus. So there's many bus depots. There's, there's four bus depots now in the city. So let's see if the city is growing more. Hopefully that will make it easier to get around. And it looks like people want more uh, residential zones. So I'll try building some more here, although not many people want to live here. These are all abandoned, all these homes. There's some homes, so some people live here, but people don't live in these houses. They're all, they're all abandoned here. So I will add, I'll try adding some more. and add some roads there and see if anyone moves in, see if anyone builds anything there. Try building more industrial zones. Um, let's add, I'll put some industrial zones here, right near the power plants, and give them some power. They're right beside the power plants here. So I have, I have those two coal power plants and there, those are growing, so there's lots of demand for industrial, uh, industrial zones. And I'll continue um, adding some more ones here, some more industrial zones here. So again, I want them far from the residential zones, or at least not too close. Um, so I'll try building some around here. Maybe like that. Hmm. Connect them to connect the power lines to the power plant there. And so people are building there. And let's see. Let's see. Is anyone building? Um, yeah, people still don't want to live here. Not many people want to live here. Um, let's see. What if I build a commercial zone here? Try building that. Oh, now some people want to live near there. There, they can go, maybe they can work next door. So maybe they can work nearby. And another thing, oh, I'm getting lots of money from taxes here. So I get about $800 every year from taxes. Um, after I pay for things, I have to pay for the police department and pay for the fire department. So there's, there's the police department, there's the fire department. I have to pay um, $100 a year for each one, $100 for the police and $100 for the fire department. And I have to pay money for the roads, but I get money from taxes. I, um, the tax rate is 5%. So after I pay for those things, I get about $800 a year. So I'm getting more and more money. Um, now I have about almost, uh, yeah, more than $13,000 now. And right now it's, uh, March of 1939. So when back when I started, it was January of 1900, the year 1900. Now uh, almost 40 years have passed. So now it's March of 1939. And let's see, 
let's see, what else can I build here? Um, maybe, maybe I'll build something around this lake. Um, so maybe I'll build some residential zones near the lake. People might like, people might like to, to live um, beside the lake here. So I'll build a lot of residential zones there close to the lake and make sure they have electricity, add electrical power lines there. And let's see if people build there. Yeah, they don't mind living there. Um, so people have started to build there. I'll add some more residential zones across, across the road, across the street. Add power lines so they have power. And there, oh, you can see there's lots of traffic there. Oh, there's lots of traffic there. It looks very busy. Um, and I'll add a few more zones here. And some more over here too, some more residential zones. Okay, so just connect the power there. And I'll try adding Hmm, I'll add, I'll add some commercial zones nearby between the industrial zones and the residential zones. And let's see, what else? Um, oh, there's, there's a lot more, many more factories there. Um, there are, let's look at some of the things there. There's, uh, there's warehouses, there's office buildings, there's more office buildings there. So by now, um, oh, now the city has more than 20,000 people. It has about 22,000 people. And let's take a look at it. I'll zoom out here, zoom out again, zoom out. And you can see um, the city is quite a bit bigger than before. So um, now it's grown quite a bit. Um, when, I, when I reloaded it or when I loaded the city, it had only about uh, 10,000 people. But now it has now it has twenty thousand people more than more than twenty thousand people. So it's uh, twice as big as it was before. Okay, and I'll add some residential zones here and over here. Add some power lines to those. And unpause it. See. Oh, it says power plant needed. Um, Okay, so I need to build another power plant. Um, this time, maybe I'll just build a gas power plant. See, this one has less smoke than this one. Um, so I'll use a gas power plant instead uh, this time. And I'll put the gas power plant over here behind the two coal power plants. So there's a gas power plant, and these are the coal power plants. And Oh, this, this bus depot didn't have power, so I just connected it. And what other things can I build? It says, uh, oh, it says people want another police station. So I'll build another police station. I'll put it here at this corner. And what other things, uh, what other things can I build that people might want? Um, I'm going to build, I'll build a park here so I can put a park over here. There, people cheer, people are happy because uh, people like parks. So there's a park there. And what else can I build? Oh, I don't have any uh, schools yet. So um, I can build a school. Oh, there. That's the sound of a uh, school bell ringing. Ding, ding, ding. So there's a school. And other things I can build. Oh, I could build a uh, library. So I'll build a library. I'll put it over here. There's another school bell, but this is a library. And I'll put a road to it. And so the library is here. Um, so I put the library beside the police department and beside the fire station and uh, beside the uh, bus depot. And it's close to my house, close to the mayor's house.
Those are some different buildings. Um, I could also build, um, I could build a marina. So um, I'm going to put a marina here close to um, near City Hall. Oh, I'll put it across the street from City Hall and I'll add some power lines um, like that. I'll add some residential zones here. See if anyone wants to live near the marina. So the marina, um, oh, you can see some, there's some boats here. There's a sailboat here, there's another sailboat. So, and there's many sailboats or many boats at the marina. Um, so these boats dock at the marina. And, oh, some nice apartments have gone up. It says uh, some apart there's some apartments there. If I build another residential zone here, a small one, someone will probably build some houses. Let's extend the road, make the road longer. Oh, I can build bridges too. Um, I'm not going to build a bridge here. I'll build a bridge over here so it goes across the river. And there's two kinds of bridges here. There's this one, a causeway, or there's a uh, suspension bridge. So the suspension bridge is more expensive. It's $900, but the causeway is only $300. But I'm going to build the uh, suspension bridge. I like the suspension bridge. Um, I think um, there's many famous suspension bridges, like, um, for example, I think the, uh, the Golden Gate Bridge looks like this bridge. So the Golden Gate Bridge is a famous suspension bridge. Um, another one, I think, is the Brooklyn Bridge in New York. So there's the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco um, that's a suspension bridge like this. And there's also the um, uh, Brooklyn Bridge, I think, is a suspension bridge like that, like this. And that's in New York. So, oh, there, I built a suspension bridge there. And let's again unpause it. Oh, there's... Oh, there's a siren. It says people want more fire departments, more fire protections. So I'll build another fire department, another fire station. And I'll put the fire station over... Let's see, I'll put it over here. Between this industrial zone and these uh, residential zones. And add some power lines. And, oh wow, there's lots of factories here. There's lots of big factories. It says large factories. This factory has four, it has four smokestacks. All, all these smokestacks are spewing out um, smoke from them. So there's a lot of smoke coming out of these smokestacks. So over here, um, let's go back here and take a look. Um, okay, so there's my city. So I've built it up quite a bit. Oh, oh no, there's lots of pollution. So <laughs> here's a big cloud of smoke here um, because this factory, there were these, uh, these coal power plants make so much pollution and also these factories and these things, these other factories make lots of pollution. Um, oh, now it's in the newspaper. So you can see there's a picture of smokestacks. There's a photo of factories or power plants with smokestacks and lots and lots of smoke, lots and lots of pollution. So people are not happy about the pollution. They're probably <coughs> coughing because of, of all the smoke and pollution in the city. So there's too much pollution right now. Um, so that's, anyway, that's, I'm going to leave the city for now and I'll continue to build it and we'll look at it again next time, maybe after I've built it much bigger than it is right now. So I'll go to, uh, to quit again. So now it's 1950, so it's about 50 years since I started the city. I started it in 1900 and now it's 1950. So that was uh, 50 years and the city has 29,000 people. That's almost 30,000 people. So now its population is almost 30,000 people. It has almost 30,000 people now. So I'll go to quit and it asks, do I want to save my city? Yes, I want to save the city. So I'll save my city. I'll save Christown. I'll click on yes. 
and it says it's saved to the city as christown.sc2, that's the file name. And there, it's closed out of it. I'll press five to exit the program. And there, so I've built the city up um, a bit bigger. And next time, um, maybe I will have built it up already. So next time, um, we'll look at it again and look at some other things we can do in SimCity, in SimCity 2000.